I didn't do a video to capture day five, so I'm kind of getting caught up on day five and six. So I'm excited that literally six days into following the two bunny method, I am down 4.2 pounds. And I'm excited about this because I'm seeing progress. And I feel like for once I have all the tools. When I started delving into my health issues, um, it seemed like no matter what I was doing, I kept gaining weight. And then uh, no matter what tests I did, no matter what diet I followed, no matter what fitness program I was killing myself with, I wasn't seeing any progress. And the last straw was ADD obsession that I followed this program. I poured my heart and soul into it. I followed it to a T. Um, I struggled, uh, but I didn't give up. But at the end of 13 weeks, I had lost 3.8 pounds. And I mean, I was still 151 pounds. Like that was a lot. Like I knew that, yeah, I lost 20 inches, but I, I literally had 15 pounds to go. And then after that, when I was still just trying to figure out what, what to do, I gained another 15 pounds, like literally overnight. And I was so discouraged. And then when you've been playing this, this, you know, what's wrong with me game, where you focus energy flows. So, you know, focusing on like, oh my God, it's 10 pounds and I've gained 15 pounds, 20, 30. Um, where you focus, it, 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 the, the energy flows. I, I know that. And I know that when I am so stressed out about what it is and I'm just changing from thing to thing to thing to thing, driving myself crazy, then all my energy is fixated on that. So that's why the number went up. Uh, but I convinced myself in the process that there was something wrong with me and that I couldn't gain or I couldn't lose weight. And so, even though I found that the answers really were um, the food allergies and the food intolerances, uh, I still came into this test group thinking like I had faith, but then I'm like, but it's probably just not going to work for me. And I remember feeling that way literally exactly six years ago when I bought P90X. I'm like, it works for my coach. It works for all these people I see. And I'm going to do the thing, but I don't think the thing is going to work for me. So I had to kind of shake that out and be like, no, and I've been doing positive affirmations. I've been listening to um, things about the law of attraction and about where you focus, your energy flows. And I, I've been going through all the things that I've learned and focusing on it and just trusting the process and trusting the process. And, and I'm watching other people trust the process and we're all seeing, you know, results. But like, I am super jazzed. I've lost 4.2 pounds, which is more than what I lost doing ADD obsession. There's nothing wrong with ADD obsession. Like literally still doing the workouts, still believe in it. But... It just proves to you that if you're eating unhealthy foods, or for me, I was eating foods that were healthy that were just basically like kryptonite to me, you can't out-exercise things like that. Like, killing yourself is not going to help. Um, one of the test group participants last night shared the fact that she literally was going through the same thing that I, I did, and I didn't know that. But from 2015 till recently, she gained 40 pounds, spent $20,000 on tests, trying to figure out what it is. She's a holistic nutrition coach. Um, she couldn't figure out what it was. And she literally was going crazy like I was. And, and, and it was one of those, like, the last thing you try it, it is the answer. She found out through allergy tests that she was allergic to lemon, celery, lettuce, oranges, all things that are healthy. Like nobody would say they're not healthy. Um, and it was stuff that she was consuming regularly. Just like for me, it was wheat, dairy, almonds, and peanuts. Um, things I was consuming regularly, daily. Um, and so she, once she got that test result back, she started cutting those things out. She started tracking her foods because I'll tell you that I cut the things out that or on the list, but I still notice that there's still days where I feel super bloated or I feel tired. So tracking what we're eating is so helpful because you're basically conducting an experiment on your body's performance. Um, this isn't to judge yourself. This isn't to beat yourself up. It's literally to perform an experiment on your body. And so anyways, I'm super excited about this, that I'm not the only one who went through this, so I know there's other people out there struggling. Um, and so she was sharing that once she got this information, she was doing that. that all she could really eat was like a few um, types of protein and all veggies. So that's how she's lost 10 pounds. She was drinking water, 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 and tracking herself, which is the same concept of what Alana's teaching us with the 2B mindset. So I'm super excited um, about the fact that I discovered there's 
I now know two people who went through the same exact thing. And so now I feel like this is my message. I went through this so I can understand how people felt and so that I can spread the word and so that I can offer hope to the people who didn't have hope. This has always been what my message is, is to give hope to the people who don't feel like they have hope. And yesterday I bought some trail mix for my kids, my husband. It was like nuts and stuff in it. And I would start to get hungry. Um, and I, cause I would plan on going right home after I picked the kids up and making a dose of daily sunshine. We ended up buying this trail mix. So I ate a few small handfuls and this is just total proof of why you shouldn't just mindlessly snack, even if you consider it healthy. Um, you know, I was going to track it. Um, but I ate it and then literally like in less than 10 minutes, by the time I was at the checkout stand, I li I couldn't keep my eyes open and I felt sleepy. And then I was like, Oh my God, this is well, I'm like, what did I do? I didn't have any of the things like that, they, that, that I'm allergic to. And then I was like, Oh shit. I looked at the trail mix and there's almonds in there. And I, I don't know how many I ate again. It wasn't good to mindlessly snack because you can't really track something. I mean, you could just say like four small handfuls of trail mix, but I didn't pay attention. And so I'd say I probably maybe ate eight because um, there wasn't tons of almonds, but maybe like two in each little small handful. By the time I got home, I literally looked like I was five months pregnant. And I was like, whoa. But you know what? I was like, I'll write it down. I'm going to write down. Like I wrote down here, um, uh, trail mix at four o'clock. And I said the almonds in it made me bloated and sleepy. That, that's it. Like I wrote it down because it was already done. But like I'm gonna remember why I felt that way. So make me remember to be more mindful about what I eat. But also that I could track like how I felt like the next day. Like and then I, I this morning I avoided the scale till about ten thirty because I was like shit. Like it's gonna go up. Like it, but it didn't. It actually went down one point two pounds. So like since I started to be mindset lifestyle, I've lost 4.2 pounds since January 15th, since I started cutting out all of the foods and getting back on track with 80 day obsession, I'm down 7.6 pounds. So I still have a long ways to go, but like, listen, I started experiencing weight gain in the middle of 2016. We're in the beginning of 2018. Like it's not going to just come off like that either. So I am super excited that all of this has just been a learning process. It's been part of my story. So I'm really happy about this. I, I can't complain. Um, I'm down 4.2 pounds since doing this and I'm not counting calories. I'm not counting containers. I'm not worried about what I have left or what's being taken away from me. Like I'm just living, like I'm just living. And this is so sustainable, so teachable. Um, I'm just, I'm super excited about this and I'm so glad that I got to be part of this because this is just another stepping stone in my journey. Another point of my life that I can share with people because I know that I'm not the only one out there, even though at times it felt like I was.